As stocks continue to sell off today, some of the companies announcing closures have been hardest hit. Take a look at Disney, which announced last week it would be shutting down Disney World and Disneyland Park locations uh, down another 7% today. For more on that, I want to bring in Gerber Kawasaki Wealth Investment Management CEO, Ross Gerber. And Ross, I know you were buying a bit last week, but what are you telling clients that are watching this move to the downside accelerate now with Disney? Well, I, I think, you know, the big question is, is the declines equal to the damage? You know, is it factoring in the amount of damage that's actually going to be done correctly? Or is this an overshoot on the downside and a huge opportunity? And, you know, obviously, nobody really knows the extent of what this is going to be. But my best bet is that these actions that are being taken right now are exactly what needs to be done to prevent this from becoming a full-blown you know, nightmare for this country. So I'm actually really bullish on the steps that are being taken right now. This is great. This is exactly what we need, is everything needs to shut down. Disney will be fine in six months if we take the right actions today. And that's what I think is happening. So I think this is just one of those enormous opportunities that comes once a decade. I think Disney is going to do perfectly well. Everybody's going to flood back to the park the minute this is over. And it's just a matter of how long. And whether it's three months or six months, I'm going to be here um, ideally for a lot longer than that. So I think this is just a huge opportunity um, for longer term investors who can stomach these declines and have the liquidity to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And and you got to be conservative in dollar cost average. But boy, what a what a great name. So so let's let's talk about how investors should be assessing a name like Disney. You talk about the shutdowns in the parks. Uh, that's certainly going to be hit. That's certainly going to hit the company in a big way. Uh, the three months or six months, the timeline certainly is going to be key here. But you've also got people, you know, last week we're talking about the opportunities in streaming services. Now that everybody yes. is at home uh, watching these services, how do you assess that or weigh the positive and the negative for a stock like Disney, the negative of the park shutdown, but also seeing the opportunity on Disney Plus? Well, what you're saying is exactly true. I actually just started a music streaming service called Cocoon, uh, Cocoon Malibu, and we just can't believe how lucky we are because everybody's online now all day and they want content. I've been screaming to Bob Iger on Twitter to just release Mulan on the on the streamer. My, my God, what what they gave us Frozen 2, which is great to keep my my kids busy for half a day. Um, mm. But you know. With all the kids home and, and just launching a streaming service, you couldn't ask for a better time to be in streaming. That, you know, Remember, with the coronavirus, there's losers, but there's winners too. Disney is definitely more of a loser than a winner here, but at least they have a streaming service and they have TV channels, which people are watching. You know, There might not be sports on ESPN, but people are desperate to watch even, I, I mean, I was watching old golf you know, they had on, you know, at this point, you know, sure. and so, you know, remember, even though this is a really bad thing, money is still being spent. It's just in different places. Entertainment's going to take the biggest hit now on the short term now, but on the long term, it creates the biggest opportunity. Yeah, I mean, consumer discretionary, uh, one of the hardest hit sectors today besides financials. So that's playing out, of course, as we're seeing fears around corona coronavirus intensify here. But maybe some of those other names, too, because I know Tesla is one of your holdings that you've had for a right. while. That stock getting hit again today when we think about some of those names that had a pretty massive run up before all of these headlines yeah. started. People taking didn't think they'd get another shot at Tesla. Huh? No, you know? well, I mean, yeah, now you got it down at 467 here. So, I mean, when you talk about those names that were hard hit because of, A, the shutdowns we saw in China, but now back here in the U.S. as, as people kind of curtail spending because they don't know what's about to happen. I mean, are, are you still looking at names like those that might be a little bit more speculative? Oh, yeah. Or? Absolutely. Like Tesla's solid as a rock in here with Model Y launching. You know, people who have a lease come due on their car, are, you know, you're still going to get the new car. You know, uh, I, I don't see Tesla getting a lot of like order cancellations. Because it's kind of a necessity. I think necessities are pretty safe in here. I think it's all the discretionary stuff that people aren't spending money on, you know. So people have money still because we haven't seen the recession fully hit yet. But, you know, look, it's not good for any company, this coronavirus situation. I think Tesla weathers it better than others. Um, but the stock, I, I have to say, I think is, you were talking about it earlier, is MGM Resorts. I. This asset is an amazing opportunity right now. They just sold all these casinos, have 
all this cash. They were just about to buy back all this stock at $30 a share. They canceled the tender. They've got literally billions just to return to shareholders. It's got a $12, $13 billion equity value, now trading at something like $6 billion on the market. Literally 50, this is like Benjamin Graham's dream come true. (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, when we were Boy, talking about so, some of the other Vegas names out there, too, it's it's one of those that's less yeah, levered than potentially leverage. a Caesars. Or, they all have leverage. Yeah, all right. MCM has, has just paid off $4 billion in debt at the end of last year. Um, boy, oh, boy. So, yes, I, I'm going to have to say be patient here because mm-hmm. it's going to take three months to get this market to work this recession in correctly. But, boy, oh, boy, <laughs> this is as good as it gets for – for stock pickers like me. So All right, some optimism there. you have liquidity. Yeah, optimism from Ross Gerber on a down at Monday to start off the week. Important to keep yeah, in we'll mind survive. some of the opportunities out there. We're going to survive the virus. All right, Ross Gerber, thank you so much for joining us with, with that.